Most of the buildings in downtown Snow Hill date back to the turn of the century when they were built following that major downtown fire that destroyed many of the 18th century structures. So you can see late 19th, early 20th century architecture today. Further proof that art is everywhere in Snow Hill. And as you probably noticed, WBOC's Heidi Warosta is making her rounds in the historic art district. Her next stop, Bishop Stock Fine Art, Craft and Wine. This is an art gallery, but it hasn't always been. When Ann Coates bought this building, she wanted to renovate this space and return it to what it has been in the past by showing off some of the original beams. By the time the renovation was complete, she said nobody wanted to rent the area. So she decided to utilize the space herself. Decided to do an art gallery. But it's an art gallery that features local artists. Coates says that the area of Snow Hill is very creative, so local art seemed like the best way to go. So we said, well, let's do that, and that'll give us a, a reason for people to visit. And you know, you put the work on consignment, you don't buy this, you just pay them when they have a sale. She says many of the artists rely on having income from their artwork. She wanted to be able to continue doing that for them. We show representational work, lots of traditional landscapes, um, things that are Eastern Shore focused. We also show some abstract, and the abstract can be um, just anything from some that are a little more abstract expressionist and some that are just um, creative in a whole different way. But we do show pastels, oils, acrylics, watercolors. Not all of the art hangs on the wall. Some is three-dimensional. Art of wood, stone, clay, and some jewelry, and handcrafted pens. Bishop Stock also features a wood carver. We have Doug Fisher, who is our wood carver, and he wears two hats. He carves and then he works a cash register. Um, he started carving oh, right about the time he'd been doing hobbyist work. He carves a lot of wildlife, like various kinds of birds, but his claim to fame is the horseshoe crab. Uh, it's, it's really interesting the things that he'll add to his, and so the horseshoe crabs, he's added a, a barnacle. So it looks like a horseshoe crab that really lived in the bay. And uh, they're very popular. I, I can't even ask you how many he's made and sold. Anne may own the gallery, but her gallery dogs contribute to her store. They are very good greeters. They are not overly anxious when you come in the door. They greet you and then they sit down and take it easy. But it's a golden retriever and a, an English black lab. And they are just a great welcoming tool for the, for the gallery. Whether it's the dogs or the art that brings you in, there is a lot of variety within this gallery. And about 70 different artists are featured here throughout the year. The display you see now won't be here next month. We change our feature every month. Uh, this particular show we have right now is our 170th show. It brings you know, friends of the artist, uh, collectors of that artist, or it just brings people looking for something on First Friday. Because now, when we have an opening, we do a wine tasting. And we do a wine tasting of the wines that we are featuring for our wine club. Because she says there is an art to wine. They also have some from all over the world. You don't have to be a part of their wine club to try a bottle. But if you do, you do get two bottles a month. A white wine and a red wine, or it might be a rosé wine at this time of year. And we give them an email to tell them what's coming. And then we give them um, a date when they can pick them up. And they get a little letter with uh, recipes and uh, information about the wines when they get the wine. As wine and art go hand in hand, there is sure to be something for everyone. There just may be that piece of art that catches your eye. And Anne says there are two months out of the year where there is a general art show for the artists. This lets new artists bring in their work. She says it adds variety to the store. How about that?